Hello guys and welcome to Python Programming Tutorials by Amuls Academy. Today in this tutorial we are discussing about the functions. First we will see the definition of the functions. That is functions are nothing but these are the number of statements which are grouped together to do some particular task. In the function there are two parts one is function call and function definition. Okay, now we'll directly go to the example of the function so that we can get the clear picture about the functions. As I said, in the function there are two parts. One is function call and another is function definition. First we'll see the function definition. So this is the example for functions. Okay, now First, we will see the function definition. Okay, first def. This is the keyword followed by the function name. This program is to find out the average of three numbers. So, I will give the name as avg or you can give average also. If you remember while explaining the identifier I mentioned that function name is also an identifier. There are some rules for the identifiers right that is the first letter of the identifier should not be a digit it can be a character or it can be a underscore it should not contain any special character etc. So we need to follow that rules while naming the function then followed by parameters that is I said that this program is to find out the average of three numbers so I want three parameters and will give name as n1, n2, n3 these are the three parameters separated by a comma colon now I need to type the function body that is the group of statements I'll type return I need to find out the average of these three numbers so n1 plus n2 plus n3 divided by 3.0 that is this result can be a fractional value also for that 3.0 okay this is function definition now I'll print one message welcome now here I'll call the function for that first I need to create one variable result1 now I'll call that function using function name avg now I need to pass the parameters that is I need to type the values that is I want to find out the average of 10 20 and 30 okay now I'll create another variable once again I'll call the average function and I'll pass different parameters abg now I'll print these values result 1 ok this is the function definition and these are called as function call Okay, in this program I want to find out the average of three numbers that is first I need to find out the average of 10 20 30 next I want to find out the average of 1 2 3 next 3.1 2 and 4.5 now I'll save this and I'll run this we can see welcome and different types of values 
first this statement will be executed that is print welcome so in the screen we can see the welcome message after that control goes to this statement that is here we can see the function call that is average of 10 20 30 so that control goes to here that is function definition and here n1 equal to 10 n2 equal to 20 and n3 equal to 30 now so it will go to the function body and here 10 plus 20 plus 30 10 plus 20 is 30 30 plus 30 is 60 60 divided by 3.0 that is 20.0 so it will return this 20.0 to here so that 20.0 will be saved in this variable result 1 so when we go for the print result 1 it will print the value as 20.0 next after executing this function call control goes to result 2 that is this statement and here once again avj function is called that is 1 2 3 so control goes to function definition now n1 value is 1 n2 value is 2 n3 value is 3 so 1 plus 2 plus 3 that is 1 plus 2 is 3 3 plus 3 is 6 6 divided by 3.0 answer is 2.0 so we got answer as 2.0 now here next the control goes to this statement and here average of 3.12 and 4.5 so it will find out the result and it will return this result here so that will be stored in the variable result 3 next when we go to the print statement it will print that result to the screen so that we got welcome 20.0 2.0 and 3.1999 and so on okay this is about the function definition okay now we'll see why we need to use function concepts in our program in our program we call this avg function thrice it is a small example and this avg function contains single line in the function body imagine that it contains 100 line then if we didn't use the function concept then we need to type that 100 lines thrice right it will be very difficult job and it will take space and time instead of that we can group that statements for example these statements which will find out the average of the number and we can give some name to that function that is we gave name here as avg and we can define that somewhere in our program and after that we can just to mention the function name and we need to pass the parameters no need to type the code again and again so this function concept will reduce the space and time okay this is about the function concepts in python programming language thank you for watching i'll meet you in next class till then take care